Hello, my name is Chris. I am 26 years old and I began my journey in Southern California where I decided to purchase a school bus, then moving out to Las Vegas, Nevada with my brother, him and I converted it into a motorhome to live in full time, to travel all the way across the United States. And I set out to really find out what is the meaning of life? What does it mean to be happy? Can I truly be happy? Does God really exist? I was traveling with this woman that I had met for the first couple months and her and I traveled through a few states together, but I just felt this impending need for, for transformation and to let go of things and, and to begin this journey that I was, I was holding back on. I wasn't fully able to open my heart and express. And so when she had flown back out to the East Coast where she had originally came from, it tore my heart into pieces and, and broke me. And I was out in the middle of nowhere in Kansas, complete desert, no life. And I just began weeping out to Lord and crying out to God for all this pain and all this suffering and all this sadness that I was experiencing. And I saw in a vision this angel that descended from heaven that came and communicated to me that everything is gonna be okay, that help is on the way. And I said, well, well what do I do now and, and where do I go from here? And this angel communicated to me to read the Bible that my father had passed down to me after his passing. And I come to scripture of Matthew 5, 4, it says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And I was truly comforted by God and the Holy Spirit that day and so I just, really dug into scripture. I said, okay, I'm going to figure this Christianity thing out. I'm going to figure out who this Jesus guy is. I'm going to figure out what God is. And I'm really going to dig and search. And I just began digging and searching and reading. And the more I began to read scripture, the more I started to believe in it, the more I integrated it. And I came across all different types of things like the 10 commandments and uh, thou shall have no idols before me. And so I started throwing things like Buddha out the window. I had these like carved images and all these things that I was worshiping and praising, thinking was gonna give me happiness. I threw those into the lake. One of the scriptures says to be sober-minded. I say, okay, well, if I gotta be sober-minded, I gotta get rid of all of these substances in my school bus. So when I was camped out on a lake, by myself on the bus there, Lord called me to get rid of all the drugs and alcohol on the bus. And so I threw all those things out. And as I'm going through that process, I was trying to like bargain with God, like oh, I'll throw some of this out, but keep some of this. And it's funny trying to bargain with God. God's like, really, you wanna bargain with me? Um, well, you can continue doing it your way and watch the path of destruction unfold. And I'm like, no, and no, no, God. He said, you also have to surrender your pride with it too. I'm like, not the pride, man, come on, not the pride. So I. I fully, I fully let all that stuff go and I fully surrendered my life to God and surrendered my life to Jesus. And I felt just this weight being lifted on me and this presence of Holy Spirit that, that just filled my vessel and filled my temple that began leading and, and guiding all my steps. And I come to Oklahoma and I was camped out at one of these campgrounds and there was this church service that was happening at a campground. And one of the people that was there was also going to have a service at another facility down the road. And so I said, I'm gonna be there. And so I went to go back to my school bus and I'm fixing up my motorcycle and trying to get it running so I could go. And I look at my phone, I go, oh shoot, it's 10. 30, church is at 11 and walking distance to get there is going to take about an hour. I said, nah, I can make that in 30 minutes. And so I took off and I just started running and started running towards church. I get like a mile and a half down the road, two miles down the road and somebody's driving along the way and they're like, jump on in. I'm like, what? I'm, where are you going? I was like, I'm going to church. And so I jumped in the car with them and went to church and met an Austin pastor, Drew Drawbridge, and he really communicated the Holy Spirit. I connected with him, exchanged numbers, and he's really been pastoring and mentoring and helping as I continued on this journey. And he was telling about the awesome things that were gonna be happening at First Grace in Dayton, Ohio, for the Freedom Celebration. I said, well, I have to be there if the Holy Spirit's gonna be there. So I drove my butt up to First Grace in Dayton, Ohio. The Lord has used First Grace Church to really impact this journey to slow me down on these fast travels that I was continuing on and really connect me with one body and one mind of Christ that has helped to align all of my thoughts and helped to align my heart with the Bible, nothing but the Bible and only the Bible and really dig deeper into scripture and have people to bounce ideas off of and topics and questions. It's been really awesome to have Bryson where I could just ask him any questions and he'll either text back or schedule a sit down and, and meet with me to fully answer all of these questions that I've had for so long and he answers them with the scripture and then going to camp and meeting and connecting with everyone that's helped with this transformation and this real true sanctification and purification of my heart that's happened through Christ Jesus 
really at camp where I broke down and weaked and really felt the God, really felt the Holy Spirit's presence that sanctified and healed my heart and healed my soul from all of my past sins. And the Lord has placed it on my heart to externalize that washing away of sins by getting baptized. And I fully surrendered my life to Christ. And it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives within me. And so this is the reason for my baptism today is to fully surrender and let go of my life and allow Jesus to take the wheel of my life and surrender to God's will and plan of my life.